My name is Ryan Hardigan from Econ Technologies, the makers of ChronoSync and ChronoAgent. This is the second part in a three-part series on how to configure a sync with a ChronoAgent target. This second screencast will deal with creating a connection profile on the ChronoSync Mac to connect to the ChronoAgent Mac. Connection profiles are only necessary when setting up a connection to a ChronoAgent Mac, so let's get started. I'm going to begin by launching ChronoSync, which will open a blank sync document. In the right target pane, click the Connect To pop-up and select Add, Edit, Remove Connection. A new window will appear showing the list of connection profiles used to connect to the individual chrono agents. Click the plus symbol to create a new connection profile. I'm going to give the connection profile a meaningful name such as iMac. This is what will be displayed when selecting the connection profile in my sync document. Now it's time to select my chrono agent Mac from the connect to pop-up. These are the names of all of the agents that I have configured on the local network. Choose the one you've configured and then enter the username and password entered on the ChronoAgent Mac. With everything entered in the Connection Profile General Panel, click Test Connect to test the connection. If you're able to successfully connect to the ChronoAgent, click Next to move on to the next step. This displays the Security Panel. The Security Panel includes the option to force all data to be encrypted and enable backwards compatibility with older ChronoAgents. Click Next to move on to the Mappings Panel. All files on your Mac are owned by the user account that created them. When transferring files between Macs using ChronoAgent, it is important to specify what user should retain ownership on the other machine. This is what Mappings does. Most of the time, Mappings are set correctly for you by default. Here you should examine them to make sure the local user account is mapped correctly to the remote user account. To do this, I'm going to look for the user account I'm logged in as on my ChronoSync Mac. Then I'm going to select the user account I want to sync files to on the ChronoAgent Mac right next to it. With ChronoAgent set up and running and the connection profile created to connect to the ChronoAgent, we're ready to create the sync document. Stay tuned for part 3 of this ChronoAgent screencast series where we configure a sync document to sync to the ChronoAgent target. If you have any questions about this screencast, ChronoSync, or ChronoAgent, just visit our website at econtechnologies.com and submit a question through our product support page.